Um, Briley, what's it like having to give back a three-pointer to your sister? I can't say I, I'm hurt. I am hurt. Um, I knew something didn't look right when I looked at the score. But, yeah, maybe maybe I can maybe put together another double-double, another game. But, yeah. But then again, I should have made my free throws and a layup, so I should have had that. All right, awesome. Um, <laughs> Yoki, just how, how good was it to, to be on this court again and in front of the fans playing with your team? So good. Yeah, there's nothing like playing in Bramlage. Um, yeah, and just playing with this team and like in a game like that, like we knew it would be a good game. So getting to just compete with them. Um, yeah, it feels great. Yeah. How frustrating was it for you on Saturday to, to not be able to go mm -hmm. one game after just getting back? Yeah, it was definitely tough. Just like the, I don't know, yeah, like going around the mountain again is just hard. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I had to do, you know, what it took to get my body right. And I knew, like, Coach Mitty knew, I knew that, like, playing that game probably would probably just be digging myself a bigger hole than, like, coming out of that. So, yeah, definitely, you know, the smart thing to do. And I'm um, proud of them for how they fought. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then tonight, you <laughs> limited time it looked like, mm -hmm. but you were able to be incredibly efficient. Just what uh, – what was it about how West Virginia was guarding you or just mm -hmm. how you were feeling tonight that allowed you to be so successful? Yeah, yeah I think um, just getting the right angles was huge and then just being patient with, like, the offense, like our offense, knowing when to post up, knowing when to rest. Um, and then the guard just did, like, Gabby did a phenomenal job of, like, catching it at the high post and getting in, inside and, like, with her passes. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just being patient, but also, like, wanting the ball, like, not playing timid, yeah. Uh, did When you were going out for a long stretch, just kind of trading out with Eliza, did that make it hard to get into rhythm, or did mm -hmm. you feel like it was pretty smooth? Mm, I don't think so. I didn't really think about it much, so I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, I wouldn't say so. And then, you know, we've heard t Coach Mitty talk about, you know, the time that you were out. It was a, an opportunity for the team to mm -hmm. grow. Um, how have you seen the team grow since um, since you were on the court with them yeah. last? Yeah, I think it's really hard to – because obviously we have to play different when I'm not in the game. And credit to the guards, like, it's hard to have to alternate between, you know, like a perimeter game versus trying to get it inside and, like, back out to the perimeter. So definitely credit to them for being able to be, like, flexible and adapting to that. Um, and then I just think, you know, Coach Mindy said a few weeks ago, like, all these close game situations are just teaching us, like, how to win games, like, how to have poise um, and just, like, continue to fight when it is a close game. So, yeah, I would say those things. Awesome. Um, Taryn, you had a, a – you were in there a lot today, especially late – uh, what was it like when you, uh, you know, you see Serena go down there about halfway through the fourth quarter and you know that you're going to have to play some mm -hmm. important minutes here? Yeah, I mean, it's a next man up mentality. I knew that my team needed me in that situation and I just wanted to be composed and poised for them and just make the right plays um, and take my time and just be a leader as best as I could. Because it's always tough when your starting point guard goes out. That's like the leader of your team quarterback of your team, if you will. So just like them having to adapt to me as a freshman coming in in a big game, big situation. Um, credit to them, they made plays and it, it worked out. A lot of players in your situation maybe try and go out there and just not make mistakes, maybe not get noticed. You go out there, <coughs> you make that big three, you get that steal from Quinterly as she's racing down the court to tie it. Just uh, what was it like for you to, to be out there making those key plays late in the game? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think as a player, that's like what you look forward to and what you want is to make those big plays and big moments. And I just knew like when my time came, I wasn't going to um, focus on the situation at hand, just go out there and play basketball and the best I could. And then, uh, especially in that first half, we saw lineups with you, uh, you, Eliza, and Zai all playing together, uh, kind of younger players all together. What's it like to, to be out on the court in um, important mi minutes with some of like, your younger teammates and, and having Coach Mitty's trust to be out mm -hmm. there together? Yeah, like you said, just having his trust in uh, difficult or like the late game situations 
is huge just for what's to come later in the season. If he can't trust his bench, then it's hard to go out and, and win games. So just knowing that we have his trust is big for our confidence and just um, being there when the team needs us. Bradley, how much do these late game situations kind of steal the team for late season situations? Um, I don't, I don't know. It's really hard to say because I don't know. Just like the energy that we brought, like at the end of the game, like it didn't really feel like like anyone was like tired. Like everyone was just ready, ready to play. Everyone had good energy. So I, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like this, <laughs> I didn't feel that today. Like I was confident like the whole time. Yeah, like late game, like they're not ideal, especially like when we went into overtime. I was like, oh, dang it. But yeah, just going into overtime, it is kind of a drag. But like everyone was like super, had an eye energy, and then it just gave us all the confidence to go out and get it done. Hey, okay. How much do you value being considered a two end of the four player? Sorry, can you repeat that? How much do you value being a two end of the floor player? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, it's just really important. Um, <laughs> like, I think defense, like, defense is what is going to, like, drive our offense, you know? So, um, yeah, I think it's really important just because you're not always going to have, like, nights like tonight. And when that doesn't happen, you have to find another way to contribute. Um, so, yeah. Taryn, I'm just curious what – your thoughts are playing with Yoki this year. <laughs> oh my gosh, when I came, when I heard that she was coming back, I was just so pumped to play with her. I mean, she makes it easy for everyone on the team when, you know, you just gotta lob it up there and she'll catch it and go score. But not just on the offensive end, on the defensive end as well. We just know that she's gonna be there if our girl gets past us on accident. She'll have our back. <laughs> um, and then like, not even playing, just like her leadership, her personality. Um, I just love being around her, and she just makes the team better, and not just on the floor, but off the floor as well. Riley, when you see plus 23 for Yoki, what's the first thing that comes to mind? When I see plus 23 for Yoki. Yeah, that's so real, because Oh, Yoki's just such an amazing player, but if you want me to be so honest, I do not know what this last column means at all. I look at it all the time, and I have no idea what this column means. I'm guessing it's really good because she's just so amazing, but I have no idea. I would have never I guessed that. that. I would have never guessed that. Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. I did not know that. <laughs> that's not too bad. It's okay. Cause it's now that I know that, that's I actually super that. interesting. And it just goes to show, like, what impact that she does have when, when she is on the floor. Like, she just helps make everyone around her better, and she makes us want to be better. Yoki, at, at the end of the game, I know there's there's a time when you just kind of sit back and, and think. Mm -hmm. When you think about this game, what do you think about first? Yeah, um, I think about – Probably our energy. Like, I think we had really, really good energy, like, second half. Um, and just how we feed, like, so well off of each other when we have that energy. Um, yeah, we'll probably think about m making more th free throws, for sure. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think just, yeah. Like, when we have that energy to together, I think that's when we can get, like, to the core of who we are as a team. And, like, that's when we're successful regardless of the turnovers, regardless of the missed shots. Um, like, we're playing our best when, yeah, we have that as a team, yeah. You're probably aware uh, projected top 16 seeds, K-State's on that list. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the spotlight's obviously on K-State. What would you like the nation to know? Hmm. about Kansas State? Yeah, um, I think on any given night, like our goal is to play to our standard and to give everyone our best shot because we know they're going to want to give their best shot. Yeah. Yeah. Riley, were you the one that got teed up? Yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> what happened there? Um, 
<laughs> Serena had shot a three from the wing, and the girl didn't give her enough space to land. So Serena stepped on her foot and ended up twisting her ankle, and they didn't say anything about it. So I got frustrated because, like, that's my teammate. Like, I don't like to see my teammate hurt, and I know that was a foul. So I said, <laughs> like, that's a foul. Like, she has to let her land. It, it wasn't in the, good, the best tone, <laughs> but, yeah, like, that's what I said. It was really nothing crazy, bro. But, yeah, that's what I said. And I think that moment, like, that moment was, like, really pivotal, like, in the game because we could have mm -hmm. used, like, my bad choice and, like, how it got me teed up. We could have, like, used that and, like, let it bring us down because, like, I just gave them free points. But, like, we used it and it, like, gave us energy. Like, the crowd was in it. We were in it. We were all, like, turned up, ready for the possession. We ended up getting a steal after they shot their free throws. So, yeah, I think, like, that point, like, that was a turning point for us in this game. Thank you. I wanted to say that.